Hello dear friends, welcome to Shiksha Mantra. But before we start, I feel something. Very frequently, we make mistakes. It doesn't matter whether you are a student or a teacher, whoever you are, mistake is something that we make very commonly. So what I feel, there's nothing wrong in making mistakes. It's very common. But what is extremely wrong when you don't learn from your mistake, that's extremely wrong. Yes, dear students, you have to feel this. You have to learn from your mistake. So before we start the discussion today, I feel it quite a lot to have a discussion about what is the reason for mistakes what we will learn from our mistakes actually your mistakes provides you to learn very simple and small things very little talks about your learning so you have to find out those small things from your mistake and when you find out those small things from your mistake you'd very easily control your mistakes and you will flourish. Yes, dear friends. So the tagline today is, there's nothing wrong in making mistakes, but it's extremely wrong if you don't learn from your mistakes. And with this tagline, we are going to start our discussion today. It's about a very small things. Probably you have already understood it uh, from the thumbnail. But uh, let me discuss it once again and begin our discussion. So let's go. Have our discussion begin. very frequently what we do we are let's uh, first write down something it's a verb and it's quite familiar I'm true I'm trying uh, today a different font let's see how it looks so when we talk of auxiliary verbs we have a discussion regarding auxiliaries, modal auxiliaries in this channel. You may visit that uh, page and uh, you may uh, have the details of that discussion. I'll put the link in the i button above. But auxiliary verbs, when we talk of auxiliary, we get two verbs. One is a primary auxiliary and the other is, yes dear friends, you know it, it's modal auxiliary which we fondly call modals so primary auxiliary and modal auxiliary so here i'm not going to teach you what is primary auxiliary what is modal auxiliary is all the things about it what rules to follow etc etc that's not my topic today but what i want to tell you can you tell me where lies the difference between these two things where lies the difference between modal auxiliary and primary auxiliary? Yes, dear friends, that's the question today. That's the topic of discussion. Where lies the difference between primary auxiliary and modal auxiliary? You have learned primary auxiliaries, you have learned modal auxiliaries, but have you ever thought of what's the difference? And that is the small talks I'm going to tell you. That was my point. You have to find out the secrets of English grammar. Yes, dear friends, this difference, you may consider it as a secret of English grammar, a top secret. Once you know it, it's very easy for you to find out. And when you don't know, it's very, very difficult for you to find it out. So let's uh, explore where lies the difference between primary auxiliary and modal auxiliary. But before we start discussing the difference, let's uh, have a look at what are the primary auxiliaries. The primary auxiliaries are words like am, 
is or have do has you know them these are the primary auxiliaries and what are the modal auxiliaries the modal auxiliaries are like can shall will or should then you have modal auxiliaries uh, like may you have modal auxiliaries like need yes dear friends these are the modal auxiliaries so is there any difference in between these two things and where lies the difference? Let me write down something and uh, we very, very easily understand it. If you say, I'm playing, when you say, I'm playing, and you may say, I can play. I'm not going after long sentences or very uh, rich sentences. I'm trying to do small things with small small points yes dear friends i'm playing and i can play only these two things and here you'll find two auxiliaries one is am so this is an auxiliary verb and there's no confusion in it and then you'll find can that's also an auxiliary verb but the difference is am is a primary auxiliary whereas can is a modal auxiliary but where's the difference in between these two sentences? When you say I'm playing, here this particular auxiliary am, it doesn't have any sense. Why? Because it gets fused in the sense of playing. When we produce the sense, when you produce the meaning of the sentence, what you'll get? You'll get the meaning of play only and there won't be anything regarding am. Why? Because the primary auxiliary they solely focus on construction of sentences. Yes, dear friends, their primary auxiliaries, they have their focus on the construction. So what it's doing here, here I am, this God, this primary auxiliary, it is only supporting what? Supporting the construction of the tense. Yes, dear friends. You can look it in a board. I have written it for you. It is supporting the construction. Why? Because it's forming tense. So, as you know, the primary auxiliary is what they can do. They can form tense. They can form voice. They can form negative. They can form interrogative. So, they are solely related to what? They are solely related to construction of sentences. So there, like uh, bricks, like uh, uh, cement or other construction materials with which we construct something. It has very, very little to do with the sense because they don't pose any sense. They don't have a sense. They get fused into the main verb and produce the sense of the main verb. And on the other hand, when I sit to I can play what it means it simply means ability yes dear friends here can means ability i can play that means i have the ability to play or if you transform it into can i play it means you are asking for permission yes dear friends so whenever we have a modal auxiliary it poses a sense sense means it is considered with a function and there's the difference the difference is there in primary auxiliary you won't get any sense it's a supporting material that supports the construction of the sentence but in modal auxiliary you have a particular sense of the modal itself that's why it doesn't have any chance if i say he needs go there. You don't say he needs go there. When you say he needs, it means it's not modal auxiliary. It's a principal verb. Need has changed its color. But when you say he need go there, it means here need 
this is a Moodle auxiliary and you may just follow it. I'm uh, writing it down and uh, it will be easier for you to follow uh, what I'm saying. When we say he need go, hear this need, the word need, this is auxiliary, this is modal auxiliary. And as you know, modal auxiliary always accepts bare infinitives. So he need go means he need to go. But here I haven't written needs go. Here I haven't used the normal S. And you can't say he needed go. You have to say he need go. So it's not related to construction, though it has its own syntax to follow. You have to follow its syntax. It has it, but it's not regarding construction. Rather, it's regarding sense. We have to use modal auxiliaries to provide a sense into our sentence, a spatial sense, and that's the function of the modal auxiliaries. So modal auxiliaries get their own function. Whereas principal verbs are being supported by the primary auxiliaries. So the primary auxiliaries don't have a sense, but modal auxiliaries has their own sense. And that is the small talks about auxiliary verbs that we have to discuss today. And if you have found this small talks to be very much attractive, write it down in the comment section. And also you may ask the small talks of your own choice, which we will discuss here in Shiksha Mantra. So far, I'm coming here with a new concept, with a new grammatical topic on English grammar. It's better to tell you now. Bye bye. Happy learning.